Big, tough loss. Uh, give credit to Florida State, found a way to win the game in the end. Um, we had plenty of opportunities early in that game that we did not capitalize on. For instance, first and goal from the two where we went backwards on two penalties and missed a field goal. Uh, had another opportunity in the red zone that we threw a pick on. Uh, that uh, was another missed opportunity there. Um, so we, we, we certainly had our early opportunities that we didn't capitalize on. I don't think we played very well offensively in the first half. I thought we came back in the second half, got things cleaned up, played much better offensively in the second half. I thought throughout the game, I thought we played pretty good on defense. Um, felt like on the uh, last thing, drive there on fourth and one at midfield, I just felt best about the fact that if we could pin them, we'd play great defense, make them go the long field and uh, win the game that way. It didn't work out. They hit us on a post cut uh, in our base coverage and uh, uh, you know they made a great throw and catch and, uh, and, and there was the end of the game. So um, we need to do a better job in the first half to take advantage of the opportunities we had. When you're on the road and you don't do that, that usually comes back to haunt you. Any questions? Just got beat. Got beat. And, uh, you know, uh, so we were, we were in quarters press and got beat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, same time. So, how, how hard is it to just make moments work down? I know you tracked on side. Yep. Yeah. It was worth a try. Yeah. I didn't, you know, backing up a little bit on the punt wasn't going to bother me. Still felt like we could pin him. I think all of that was probably right. Okay. Um, how hard a decision? It, you know, I thought pretty good about it. Um, but ball's darn near midfield like that. Again, um, you know, obviously with the outcome, your heart's like, I should have went for the, for the uh, first down. But honestly, thinking about it, that really wasn't the right thing to do. Now, maybe it would have had a different outcome, but it wouldn't be the right thing to do. You give them the ball at midfield like that and give them a chance to, to you know, put the defense on a short field and they score and beat you. That's a pretty hard way to lose the game, considering your defense has been playing really pretty good all night long. And uh, you know, I think we had them pinned down on the 11. So you're saying to yourself, they got to go 89 yards in two minutes and whatever and change. I think that's, I know that's the right thing to do. It did not have the right outcome. So given the fact that it didn't, obviously you second guess yourself, but really it was the right decision. It just didn't work out right. I'm more interested and the, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in the opportunities we had in the first half when it's first and goal from the two and we go backwards and we miss a 20-something yard field goal. That ended obviously ended up being a huge deal in this game, right? We had two red zone opportunities. One, we got no points. One, we got no points because we throw a pick on a naked, uh, which, you know, was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. So those two plays ended up being enough to come back and haunt you. You know, you probably left some form of two scores on the field right there. Uh, you're on the road, and you leave two forms of scores on the field like that, it's never good. They have a tendency to come back and haunt you. They came back and haunt us. The same about the, the Francois play. Did it seem like they were he was trying to make that target a lot during the game? And that was, you know, trying to yeah, sure. I mean, I think they're trying to, you know, in quarters, they're trying to clear out the quarter safety and throw a post cut on the corner. I think Coach Campanelli was actually calling it out the very play to, to Brandon that, that, that the eight, eight route was coming. Yeah. You know. For AJ to have a season high and carry and kind of grind it out tonight when he's maybe not nearly 100%. What does it say about him? Did that yeah, I think he gave great effort tonight. And I thought, I thought he gutted it out hard. I thought Anthony Brown came back and had a very good second half when the first half wasn't very good, and I thought that showed a lot too. But again, on the road, we had too many missed opportunities in the first half, um, and, and, and those are those are the facts. How much did you get out of Anthony this week? Uh, he I, I had no idea. You know. Uh, you know, we, we, we got a little bit more of AJ this week than we have in the last seven weeks, and he played a little better. You know, he's able to give us some real good tough yardage out there. Um, and, uh, you know, we looked uh, pretty rusty uh, offensively in the first half, in my opinion. Now, that's a good defense. I knew that was a good defense. I told you guys that was a good defense. So I knew in the first half it would be rough sledding, and I felt like in the second half we'd be able to make some hay. That probably ended up panning out to be true. But first and goal from the two. Right. Can't do that. No points? Zero? Can't do that. This is a difficult way to win the game. Yeah. But so what do you, what's the message when you, when you, when you leave here? Uh, the opportunity which did have. I mean, we still have one coming up, obviously. Yeah. So it was just well, the message is it was and will be better tomorrow of we've got to go get win number eight against Syracuse at home on senior day.
It's as simple as that. It's a pretty disappointed coaching staff and a pretty disappointed locker room right now with the players. Um, I think we all know that we had a golden opportunity here that we let get away from us without taking anything away from Florida State. They went and made the play necessary to win the game. Okay, But uh, I would say to you that you know, this is a very disappointed, maybe use the word, um, you know, devastated in there. I'd say that probably wouldn't be an exaggeration. Um, and it's my job, my responsibility to get the team back up, have a good week, and prepare for last home game for our seniors versus Syracuse and a chance to get our eighth win. Simple as that. That's where we are.